Hello! And welcome to the show. Now, instead of our regularly scheduled program, Mr. Doug Ford, who is the new premier of Ontario, who is also wise and noble, brought in myself, Mr. Richard Handel, and... Youth Pastor Albertus Jenkin. In order to teach Chris and James's young, young viewers about our exciting new program, the 1998 Birds and Bees curriculum, which is being implemented all across public schools in Ontario. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This curriculum is from 1998. You know, the good old days, when things were simpler. Now folks, the votes are in. For once, your government is actually listening to you, and we are there for all of those concerned parents who believe the new curriculum taught children too much, too quickly. We here at the Ford government believe that school children need to be taught the right information at the right pace in order to stop them from getting into any sexual trouble. Yes, and uh, we believe that it is our role as educators to prevent your children from falling into the hands of the Dark Lords, which is what happens when you expose them to too much information meant for not kids when they are the kids. And then before you know it, they'll be puffing the reefer, be gang banging, and it's our solemn duty as educators to avoid that. So we're going to teach the new bodily health curriculum and just make sure your kids stay straight. Puberty. When you're younger, you'll notice that you either have a penis or a vagina, which means that you're either a boy or a girl, and that's it. Now, depending on who you are, your puberty experience might be very different from someone else's. For example, if you're a boy, you'll notice you grow hair in places where there was no hair before. Your voice will get deeper, and your penis and testicles will begin to just flop around. They just like to hang out. And if you're a girl, your puberty experience will be a little bit different. For example, suddenly, boobs? You'll feel the need to yell, and suddenly, teen idols begin to look very, very attractive. Genitalia. Now, if you're a boy or a girl, you might look down there and say, hey, this looks really complicated. But don't worry. Under the Ford government curriculum, we're here to walk you through all the bits and bops of your bits and bops. And we're going to set up some handy diagrams so that you can follow along with us. Don't look too closely, though. So, moving on, here's a penis. As you can see, there is a penis and testicles. And that's about all you need to know. On occasion, you might find that your penis likes to stand up nice and straight. Don't worry, that just means it's a little excited, and if you don't touch it for a little bit, it'll go back down. Now, if you're a girl, of course you have a vagina. Here's a diagram of it. It does some stuff. Good luck. Doesn't really exist. Doesn't really exist. But because I've been contracted to teach you children by the government of our fair nation, I'll do my job relying on deceit and lies to do so. So picture this, kids. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. You just finished basking in the light of the Lord. The church doors swing open after an invigorating Sunday sermon, and you teens fly out into the streets to go fraternize with one another. You know, you're a boy. You might say to yourself, I want to grab me a nice girl and hold her hand. And if you're a girl, you say to yourself, I want to grab me a nice boy and buy him a glass of tea, then we'll go get tea together. And that's the only way that works. But you know what? You can't just be you can't just be fraternizing like that. You know, maybe you want something more, but you cannot be dangling your wee woo near everyone's hoo haws, or your your beautiful pure infantile bodies will be ravaged by the horrors of syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and you don't want that. I don't want that. The Lord doesn't want that, and so I'm here to teach you some ways to keep it under wraps. And so you know. 
First up, we're gonna talk about some methods of keeping things clean and proper and prim down there. Uh, st dental dams! Don't use them! They're uncomfortable for everyone involved. Uh, condoms! Uh, wrap your jimmy, I'm told. But you know what? How do these even work? You know, it's, it's a mystery to us all, and one that Christian scientists will be left to figure out in due time. Put those over there. The pill? Who needs it? But, but, okay, okay. So here, so you're thinking to yourself, well, I want to, want to engage, I want to fraternize with the, the kids. And what you need to know is that the number one way to have safe intercourse with other kids is don't. You just don't, all right? You, you keep it in your pants. And this is proven. It works for midwives, it works for Egyptian kings, it works for soldiers, it works for doctors, heroes, war veterans, firemen, dogs, everyone. Just don't. Do what you want. The Lord's always watching. All right, at this point in the video, we are gonna do a question answer period with our friend, Pastor Jenkins. For you see, there are some parents out there that are a little bit unsure about the new curriculum that our great premier, Doug Ford, is implementing, saying that it's a little old-timey. But we're here to put those worries to rest and let and assure all parents that these things that we you want us to teach don't actually happen in real life. Do they, Pastor? You know it. So, Father, one of the things we're asked a lot about is homosexuality. Does that, is that something that really happens today in Canada? No, not even a little bit, honestly. You ask me, I don't, I don't, I've never met anyone who's a homosexual, I've never looked at anyone on the streets and said to myself, that person's probably a homosexual, nobody I know, definitely not me. So, you know, I think, if you ask me for my two cents, it's a, it's a conspiracy uh, propagated by the liberal media to sell cupcakes and red velvet. Okay, how about gender identity? If someone doesn't actively say that they're a boy or a girl, what happens then? Well, you know, it's a lot like dodgeball. You know, you either pick a team or you just go. So... So, Pastor, a big part of today is video and cell phones and the YouTubes and the Facebooks and whatever. And some parents want to know, are kids in danger of making poor sexual decisions by sending in each other some, like, penis pictures or something like that? Oh, the only decisions children make are bad decisions, which is why we need to have uh, intelligent, God-fearing adults like us tell them what for. And you know, if you ask me, uh, the cell phones these days and the tablets and the, the internet interfaces with the tweetings and the, the LinkedIn's for the kids, uh, it's, it's, all, it's all just like Satan. He's a snake and he's trying to tempt you into eating that juicy apple. But in this case, the apple is intercourse. And if you ask me, kids shouldn't have phones, no one should have phones. We don't need a way to spread that kind of that nonsense around. So one way I'm told people can practice safe sex is to have oral sex. Pastor, can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, well, I uh, wouldn't know so much about that myself. But, uh, yeah. you want to hear a dirty joke I heard from a minister the other day? I do love a dirty joke every once in a while. He said, he said, he said, all these kids these days with their sucking and they're blowing, you know, it's a, I can't tell if it's a vacuum factory or an elementary school. <laughs> oh, we, we have fun sometimes. But in all seriousness, I don't think anyone should engage ever. Last question, Pastor. There are some more advanced forms of sex, such as anal or fetishes. What should children be do if they are ever confronted with such ideas? Nope, 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 Thank you so much for clearing that up, Pastor. Now, if you have any further questions, before you contact your doctor or educator, because they're probably a liberal, please be sure to email your local government representative and I'm sure they will clear everything up for you. Well, this just about concludes our video. Thank you for hearing us out as we teach you kids the necessary information about... Sexual education, brought to you by the Ford Provincial Government. Now, in order to summarize everything we've seen in this video, we thought we would do something uh, a little cool, the pastor and I. I thought we would maybe do a little rippy rap, you know, lay down some beats, you know, lay down the lines, you know. 
ha. really get down on your level and have a have a one on one little chit chat sing along with you if you know what I'm saying. The hips and the hops. We're talking to you kids the way you talk to each other. All right, hit it. Hey, so thank you for watching this video on safe sex and what goes on through your body during puberty, but we're not quite at the end yet. There are some last few things that we want to remind you are important to make sure you don't catch any diseases or have an unwanted pregnancy or die. That is wrap your penis up, take the birth control, or maybe just say no to that fine lady down the road. Because as much as it is awesome to have sex, it is not worth the sin that you will have on your back. So just remember, we're here to protect you from all of the nasty things that the liberals want you to know. Because we care about our future generation. And the best way to keep yourself safe is just say no. This is all we have time to sing to you. Remember to subscribe and watch our other videos too. Just kidding. Just kidding.